Making sound with the guitar is just a matter of pressing down on the strings in between the frets with your left hand and then striking the strings with your right hand. When you press down on the strings with your left hand, you want to press down as close to the edge of the fret as possible. So here I've got my first finger on the second fret, sixth string, and I'm pressing down right next to the edge of the fret. With your right hand, you're going to pick up your pick, and you're going to hold it by placing your thumb horizontally across the base of the pick like this, and then squeeze together with your index finger on the back of the pick like this. So you should have about a half, a quarter to a half of the pick still showing. You want to have a nice firm grip on the pick so that when you strike the string, it doesn't buzz. So there's a couple reasons why you might not get the best sound when you're first playing strings on the guitar. One is, with your strumming hand, you might be picking too far away from the sound hole. So you want to always play over that sound hole right there. You want to have a nice firm grip with the pick. The other is, you might not be pressing down hard enough with your left hand, the finger on your left hand, assuming you're right-handed, or you might not have the finger located close enough to the edge of the fret. So if I'm not pressing down hard enough, it might sound like this. Or if I'm not close enough to the edge of the fret, it might sound like this. The other thing that can happen is when you're pressing down on strings, especially when you're making chords, you might be pressing down on a string, but notice here I've got my first finger on the fifth string, second fret, and it's also resting against the sixth string. So that can also cause strings to buzz. So make sure when you're pressing down on strings that you're pressing down pretty much straight down. See how I'm just pressing straight down with my first finger? and I'm making sure that it's not touching any of the neighboring strings. Now with your thumb, you notice here I have my thumb over the edge of the top of the neck of the guitar. That's a comfortable way for me to play. Other people play with their thumb pressed into the back of the neck of the guitar, and it just depends on what's most comfortable for you. So when you first start playing, your fingers will start to hurt a lot. And don't get discouraged at all when this starts to happen because this happens to everybody, even the best players if they haven't played for a while. It's just, your fingers just aren't made to be pushing down on these metal strings. So if that starts to happen, just put your guitar down and pick it up after a while when your fingers start to feel a little bit better. Eventually you'll start to develop these tough pads on the tips of your fingers called calluses. And once you have the calluses developed on the tips of your fingers, you won't even feel that at all. You won't feel any pain anymore.